Okay, I'm really excited because I really hope this headline is true. I don't know. All right. Alec and Ilaria Baldwin are pitching a behind-the-scenes reality series about their family of nine, according to a source. We have the kale chips that are in the oven. Actually, these ones are spinach chips today. Sometimes I make kale, sometimes I make spinach. But if I don't call them kale chips, the kids won't eat them. A source tells people that Alec and Ilaria Baldwin would only do reality TV. Oh dear, there's a rider. Name your terms, Baldwins. Now please, would you just don't follow us for the rest of Just, just leave us just go home. They would only do reality TV if it was an authentic portrayal of who they are. When I was growing up, I and in this country, I would use the name Hillary, and in Spain, I would use the name Hilaria. Yes. I see. Well, that should be simple enough. Yes, I am a white girl. A source tells people that Alec Baldwin and his wife Hilaria, Hilaria. Baldwin are pitching a family reality show that would give an inside look at their life with their seven children. What a time to be alive. Seven children. They are sick! I'm joking. I'd love to have seven kids. And well, maybe when I'm a billionaire, I'll be like Elon Musk. I'll have 11 children. Every succubus that comes my way. Did you hear that, Anna? I'm joking, of course. I do use my humour, though, to gently remind people in my life that they are replaceable. And that I don't need them as much as they need me. Do you have any idea... How many dogs we've had? Nope. And as for you, Primavera, we named you after a season. Yeah, that's right. After Primavera comes Verano. You may well hide in your shell. Yeah, get in there. Don't jump the shark, Danny. Everyone's going to think you're having an episode again. So yeah, they're pitching a family reality show that would uh, give an inside look to their life with their seven children, their seven screaming brats, their seven Spanish little miracles with Carmen Gabriela, Rafael Tomas, Leonardo Angel Charles, Romeo Alejandro David, Eduardo Edu, Pau Lucas, Maria Lucia Victoria and Hilaria Catalina Irena. Just make sure it's not your last one, Juan. You're going to have to bear with me here. Just a couple of minutes while I... We can take a deep breath. Take... First of all, please, God, inspire somebody uh, to give them all the millions that the Baldwins want. Yeah. Let them make this series. Let them show their authentic selves. I can't wait. We need ten seasons of this. Why is Eladia in this situation that she's in? Hilary Hayward Thomas, a British stock, New England for eight generations, right? Ethnically, I am a mix of many, many, many things. I know that's all been said before, but people probably think, well, you know, something's gone on. She lived in Spain as a kid, whatever. She didn't. I went to a lot of places. <laughs> lived in Boston, and I know that's been said. But honestly, you need to get that through your head. She does speak Spanish. She speaks some Spanish. We've heard her say words. She pronounces them quite well. She is reluctant to hold a conversation in Spanish in public. Okay. No, no, do it in Spanish. <laughs> do don't, don't. We're going to do what we do together. So not as to shatter the illusion that Spanish is possibly her first language. Carmen, is it you? Can you give me, like, dos minutos? She's never actually said that Spanish is her first language. She's never actually said her parents are Spanish. You're Spanish? I, well, in Spain you have olive oil. She says that a lot of my family live in Spain. My family, my brother, my parents, my nephew, everybody is over there in Spain. Now I'm here. Her parents retired to Mallorca uh, about ten years ago. The problem with these people, these massive personality disorders, is the heart truths. You can never go back and pinpoint them because they can, and they're saying this to themselves in their head, I never said that. Oh, oh, if that's what you understood, you filled in those blanks. You're from, you're actually half Spanish and half American and you are a, a wellness expert. I, when I was 20, I gave up dairy and so in Spain you eat a lot of dairy, mm. um, you eat a, there is a lot of meat. Don't blame me. She grew up with this in her house, right? You've got to understand that her father was this pedantic, mad university professor, I believe he was. And he was um, a huge, what do you call them, Hispanophiles? The ones that try to fuck all the Spaniards? <laughs> he was obsessed with speaking Spanish to the kids in the house. That was it. Now, you would think that would just be a thing 
that you would just tell people, yeah, my dad got us to speak Spanish so we could speak a second language. But if you're a pedantic professor, you're not, you're not interested in explaining to kids why you're doing it. You just want to show off that you've got kids that speak Spanish, right? You're a fucking narcissist. And I am filling in some blanks here, but I think I'm onto something. I really think I'm onto something. I think that Hilaria, Hillary, had to... I reckon she probably had an awkward personality as a kid. Now that I'm in the public eye, I, um, I experience a different kind of stress. She was a bit odd. And this Spanish thing added to that absurdness, that weirdness about her. But that air of mystique around you as a child can be a crutch if you're a bit weird. You can use that as an excuse as to why you're a bit weird. I've got a bit of a funny accent. I've got a tan. She's clearly foreign. Oh, look at her speaking Spanish to her Spanish dad. And you never clear up whether that's true or not. You just allow people to believe that you're exotic. You know, it's not that your family are, are fucking weirdos. No, it's, uh, you know, I'm kind of a bit... I just didn't, you know, I was a bit in, Sp in Spain and stuff. And it, it, it kind of works, especially when you grow up in Boston and move when you're 19 to New York. Oh, the big city, there's loads of Spanish people here. I can sort of pretend I'm Spanish, but my English is great. People like me, they're more accepting. If there's any weird uh, silences in a conversation, it's okay, it's because she's Spanish, right? Give me some How time, guys, give me some <laughs> time. She has taken it so far, this crutch, to name her seven kids who have no Spanish ancestry, these mental, long Spanish names, Romeo, Alejandro, David. Clearly there is no Spanish in her. No Spanish person would name their kids the crazy things that she has named her kids. Oh, you think that Spanish people have long names. You're thinking of Maria Jose and Jose Maria. That was the older generation, right? The kids today that I'm surrounded by here in Spain have one name, generally speaking. Eduardo Pau Lucas. One of their kids is called Eduardo Pau Lucas. Pau with an O, not with a U like it should be, which isn't even a Spanish name. It's a Catalan name. And that would be Pau, like Pau Gasol with a U. P-A-O, as far as I know, is, is bread in Portuguese. Boom. <laughs> Ilaria. She's, she, she's always talking about how Ilaria, oh, it's with a, you don't pronounce the H. And it's like, well, no, of course you don't, because there isn't one. It's not it's Ilaria. Not, it's not even Hila, Hilaria. There is no H. There's no H. So, so pretend there's no H. It's okay. Ilaria. It's like hola. Yeah. In Spanish, you say hola. It's H-O-L-A. Nobody says hola, unless you have a really bad accent. <laughs> Your name is Hillary. When... Here's another fucking thing. Why would, if if you spent time as a kid in Spain and your name is Hillary, if all the Spanish kids would call you Hilary. They don't call Hillary Clinton Hilaria Clinton. They call her Hilary, la Hilary Clinton. That's what they do and that's exactly how they sound. It's gone too far. She's got to 39 years of age and this crush that she used to get through life meeting people who didn't know her as a kid, she can kind of get away with that ambiguity. You know, if she's a bit of a flaky person, doesn't build a lot of strong bonds with people, she never has to do any explaining. But when you marry Alec Baldwin, uh, this is... I don't know. I need ten seasons of this. Because how can you be this insane? To think that this won't unravel in your face. It already has. Everyone in the world has realised that you're insinuating, eluding, half-truthing everybody. You're cheating people, but in your own mind, you've never said anything illegal. You've never actually lied. There was a mistake on the website. It said I was born in Mallorca. God, I don't know why that happened. I sometimes speak with a Spanish accent. I just go, oh, it's because I spent time in Spain. Did you live there? Did you go to school there? No, uh, can we have it? Can we do a podcast episode in Spanish? No, I would prefer to do it in. Uh... She's just a Bostonian with a personality disorder. I think I'm the first person to realize that this is a genuine. She's not just lying, she is insane. When is it enough for these people? When is it enough? <laughs> Stop. Go away from the public gaze. Or don't, actually, no, because I want ten seasons of this. I don't... I honestly don't know...
I can't... I think there are just people who have a very limited internal dialogue. And they can't see themselves. And they just walk through life hoping that nobody kind of notices all the shittiness. It's absolutely crazy that a person, that a couple like this, want to do a reality show now. A guy who, tragic in, <laughs> tragic accident, killed a woman not long ago. And his wife, who everybody knows, is not Spanish. And there's seven kids with their Spanish names and their blonde hair and blue eyes. I'm going to be watching this like a hawk. I really hope it's real, but it blows my mind that there are people like this in the world. That's all I've got to say about this.